Okay, we're back. Next up, I have just trial fitted this bottom spar on the front in place, but that's not ready to go on yet. Uh, I'm going to show you a trick with these later. I'll pop this back out. Um, during the break from the last segment to this segment, uh, this glue is already all set up and dried nice and hard. And when you get all finished with this wing, you're going to really notice a really cool thing is, you know, you don't have to have epoxy. You don't have to have um, CA glue. You know, those are nice things, but I'm telling you, this yellow glue, when you're dealing with balsa wood, is the ticket. Now, what I wanted to show you, what I've done here, and I'll try to get up here and out of the shadows and get to where I can see here. I've taken that that rib number one or wing rib one and I have gone ahead and inserted my dowel in here now I set that up for I set it up for an eighth inch dowel because honestly with this particular airfoil I couldn't get much more in there what I ended up using is um, you know I went to my local hobby shop to get a one eighth inch they didn't have a one eighth inch they had three sixteenths and I didn't want to make any changes there and uh, you know try to make it fit or sand it so what I ended up using of all things was a section of um, bamboo we're gonna do the same thing though with this I noted it on the plans when this is all dry we're gonna soak this real nice with CA uh, preferably thin CA and it's just gonna help to really strengthen that thing up I've glued the sub ribs uh, part number W1 I've glued those liberally with um, some pretty good, uh, pretty good amount of wood glue to each side of this rib, and also with a lot of glue, I have inserted that that dowel in place. And before we can go really any further, we need to let this set up and dry. Uh, when this is dry, we'll insert it into what we've got going on already with our with our wing. Uh, we'll insert that you know first or center rib assembly in place and uh, be ready to glue the rest of the spars and the leading edge on. Something that I want you to know is when you are putting this into the framework, you know, you can go either uh, either this way or this way. Keep in mind, this is a symmetrical wing, so there is no up or down. Uh, there is no top side or bottom side. It's symmetrical. It can be used either way. Um, anyway, that's where we're at right now. I'm going to go ahead and let it dry. I'm using some super cheap little, I bought them at um, Harbor Freight for 99 cents, no, 79 cents each, I guess is what I pay for these little clamps. Clothes pins work really good, like you get at a dollar store, the little wooden clothes pins, they work fine. Uh, as well, set it down on a flat surface, and uh, if you're worried about glue oozing out, put a little wax paper down, but you can very easily... Uh, set it down on a flat surface and put something flat on top of it and compress it a little bit and then just walk away. 20-30 minutes later it'll be completely dry. So that's where we are now. Okay, it's certainly hard to see here from this display, but I have taken laminated middle section, W1 with W2 on each side, uh, those sub ribs, and after the glue had dried, where I'd laminated them together along with our front uh, leading edge wing hold down dowel, uh, I've already glued it into place. And now the next part is to take another piece of 16th inch by, let's see, inch and a quarter by, eh, you can see I'm, I leave mine longer than the wingspan, but 32 inch would do it. I'll, uh, I'll glue this in place. I'll also take my long straight edge and just to keep everything nice and straight and secure, while the glue sets, I'll probably lay that straight edge right across that material, put a little weight on it. Now you don't want to crush it, but you just want it to dry nice and flat. It'll take, again, about 20-30 minutes for it to set. Uh, as well, I'll take advantage of an opportunity here while we're doing this to also put in this last, uh, or this, this uh, spar, 3 16 square spar all across right over where we put our other spar first. So we're going to do that now. Alright, we've given this trailing edge sheeting a little bit of time to dry 
as well as this top spar here on the plan. Uh, I've gone ahead and taken three pins and just pinned the trailing edge all the way through both sections just to keep it nice and flat to the board. The next step we're going to do is we're going to glue on this spar all the way across. And all we're doing is just put a little glue in each one of those little uh, channels there or uh, cutouts and we're going to put the spar down in place. Again, that's a 3 16th square spar just like the other two. Well, we're just moving right along. Well, what I've done now, um, as you recall, we glued over this last spar on that side of the wing that we were working on. I've since unpinned it. I've unpinned all my pins and all from my uh, acoustic tile flat building board and I pulled the wing up and repositioned it. I flipped it over and repositioned it on my board so now we can work at the other side. I'm happy to report because we are letting it dry in between stages. Like I say, this yellow glue takes yeah, 20 to 30 minutes to dry so once I glue up an assembly I simply make sure everything's glued and flat and in position then I walk away for a half hour. Um, in this case, this wing is perfectly flat, so we're doing really well. I've since, like again, I've repinned it, and now what I'm going to do is put in my drops of glue in all these little channels here on the ribs, and I'm going to glue this last 3 16 square spar in place all the way down and let it dry for another half hour. Then we'll be ready to do our leading edge. All right, I've unpinned our wing as it is thus far. It's nice and straight and try to get it to where you can see down it. Anyway, it's nice and straight. It's all good. But we still have a little bit of twist in it. Well, not twist, we don't have twist, but it's still twistable. A couple of things we have left to do. The first thing, the next stage for us, is gonna be we're gonna glue in our leading edge. Now I've set this up very simple, you know, we've got little V-slots here, this is a piece of balsa quarter inch square stick. And really all we're going to do is we're going to put glue in each of these little V's all the way down. We're going to put position the stick in place where it needs to be, and then we're going to use just some simple, I use painter's tape to hold it in place. You can use painter's tape, uh, masking tape. I've even used electrical tape in a pinch. You just have to make sure you don't pull it too tight uh, and you stick it on the back of itself because it won't really stick to the wood very well. So I'm going to do that and let it, up, uh, let it set up to dry and we'll, you'll be able to see that before I untape it before we start the next step.